Hi there, it's time for a domino video. Now, as you may have known already, I have a 3D printer and I wanted an excuse to 3D print a domino. So, what I have done is designed a, a little special one in Fusion 360. In doing so, I tried to solve a problem with the tipping tower trick. Now, the tipping tower uh, involves a trigger domino that you have to tilt on its edge. The problem with that is that it also makes the tower itself a little crooked. So either you have to count for it by shifting dominoes over to make it on average straight, but it's always going to be a little off if you look at it closely or far away, one of the two. So what I did was basically round an edge so that when the the domino is on its side, you can easily tip it over and uh, it's a very smooth tip. You don't have the problem with regular dominoes where suddenly the domino is a little taller when you start tipping it. That's actually really good. And when I tried it, it works on tipping towers. So you can actually get the tower to tip over and in both the regular version and in the uh, other version that I have where you can have the tower tilt away from the domino line that triggered it. Now it also works with walls and structures. Uh, for walls you have to do a little bit of a cheat in the first two layers you have the the other version where you have to have a overlapping domino on each end instead of having a standing domino as uh, is more standard. Now for structures, uh, I just had a regular little cube that I made and replaced one of the bottom dominoes with the special domino. Now, the next thing of course is scale up. Let's see what happens. So what I did was I got a tower that was much taller and it still worked. It's great. However, the walls and the structures did not work. As you can tell, all they did was uh, let the little white domino fall over and then it just held its own. It just stayed. So that's unfortunate. I even tried to get it to work with the Upwall 3.0. I tried really hard, believe me, I tried it twice, but it still did not work. I ended up with uh, just a floating part of the Upwall 3.0 wall. So that's a, that's a fail. But I think it's just worth putting it on YouTube, even if it's just uh, to spur some other ideas. So if you have any ideas for freaky dominoes, I could make something slightly different from the typical Domino, just let me know and I can try making one and see what we can come up with. Just so you know, this is not the only domino I've made, but it's the only one that's had some significant result. Anyways, thanks for watching.